as difficult and painful as it is, when someone or something rejects you, it is best to move on and leave it alone. Now, I know being rejected by someone or something does not feel good. Nobody likes to feel rejected. It is painful and it makes you feel like something is wrong with you. But I want to let you know is that God has something better in store for you. You thought that thing that you wanted or that person that you wanted to be with would be the best thing in the whole entire world since sliced bread. But no, God has something as that in store for you that is way better than what that person or that thing could provide for you. And a lot of times when we get rejected by someone or something, we feel like something is wrong with us or that we're not good enough or that we don't deserve to have happiness or be in a good position. No, that's not what it means. When you are rejected from something, you are being protected. Because sure, if you would have got that job that you wanted to have so bad, you might have had to deal with a boss from hell that was going to make your life miserable or co snaky co-workers or the job would have been too hard or, and there would have been all sorts of problems and situations that you had at that position. A lot of things could have happened. So the reason why you didn't get that job is because God has a better career in store for you that is going to make you happy and fulfilled and you're going to be able to be at peace doing what you love and the reason why you did not get with that person because that person that you want to be with so bad could have been a karmic toxic individual that would lie cheat on you always have you worrying use and abuse you take your kindness for weakness and do all sorts of nasty things to you and the universe and God didn't want to see you go through that stage because it loves you too much to put you in the hands of a karmic person that does not love and respect you and, quite frankly, doesn't deserve you. So if you are being rejected from a person or a situation, just move on and let it go because there is something better in store for you. And I wish I could have saw it that way when I was younger, because back in the day when I would be rejected by certain things, I used to think that something was wrong with me. Or why am I not good enough for this certain person or position? The truth is that position or that person wasn't good enough for me. Because if it had worked out, the Lord knows I wouldn't be happy in that position or with that individual as a whole. And basically God was telling me, son, I know you wanted to be with this individual really, really bad, but I have someone better in store for you. This person that you wanted to be with, she is not good for you. She does not have your best interest at hand. And quite frankly, she doesn't care about you because if she did, she wouldn't go through all the means to manipulate your heart and try to use and abuse you for what they, for what she can get from you. I have something, I have someone who is way better for you that is going to love you and appreciate you and treat you how you are supposed to be treated. God was telling me that back in the day, but I was too stubborn to listen because I was so fixated on that one person. I was blocking out another individual who was a possible good one for me. And I know that she's out there. She's working on herself, fixing what she has going on. And so am I. I'm a work in progress every day. But yes, when you chase after something that is not meant to be in your life or that is not meant to be around you, you are blocking blessings that the universe is trying to provide for you because as long as you chase something or someone who was not meant to be in your life, you will forever block your blessings from what you can receive. If you're blocking, I mean, no, if you're chasing after a person who does not want to be with you, who does not want to commit to you, who does not want to give you the time of day or show you that same love that you give them, that person is not meant to be with you and you are blocking true love from actually coming into your life because you're chasing after someone who does not want to be who does not want to be with you. So the, the message in this video is to do not chase after anything or anyone that is that is not meant to be in your life and that is rejecting you. If it was to reject anyone or anything that rejects you, it was not meant to be in your life. So do yourself a favor and to let it go. Do the inner healing. Take time to grieve the situation, do the inner healing, and then let it go. Move on.
just because we want to be in a certain situation or we want to be with a certain person does not mean that it's good for us. And I'm starting to understand that now. The more mature I get, the more I understand that just because you want something doesn't mean it's good for you. It doesn't mean it's the right position for you. A lot of the times we want things that are not healthy for us. And we wonder why we are so miserable and upset when it doesn't work out in our favor because it was never meant to be in our lives to begin with. So do yourself a favor and make this easy for yourself. If it if it's running from you, if the door does not, sorry about that, ran out of space. But as I was saying, don't waste your time chasing after things or people who do not have your best interest at hand and that are not for you. Because you can be blocking your blessings for potential things that are actually for you. Like you're just wasting time chasing after something that's not meant to be in your life. And God in the universe doesn't want you to do that because we feel in our minds that when we get rejected from something, that there isn't anything else out there for us that we're going to receive that's a lot better. And that's just not the case. When one door closes, another one opens. When another oppor- when an opportunity is missed, you have another one that you can receive. But you have to be open to the idea. If a person doesn't want to be with you, respect their wishes and let them go. And I now learn and accept this. I'm to the point now that if someone doesn't want to be in my life, I'm not going to try to chase after them and try to get them to stay. I'm just going to let them leave. Okay, you think someone out there is better for you? More power to you. Enjoy yourself. I hope you guys have a nice life. And also, if a situation or position is not for me, okay, I'll find something even better. Or that opportunity will come knocking on my door or I'll create it myself. You have to have an abundance mindset and you have to be open-minded to what God and the universe has for you. Because it won't leave you in a chokehold. It won't leave you down in the dumps just because something isn't for you and didn't work out. You got to be patient. You got to trust the process. And you have to know that you will eventually get what you desire. But it's not as long as you keep chasing after something or someone that is not meant to be in your life. Rejection doesn't feel good. I know it sucks. But... Rejection is God's protection and redirection. The taker of this video is to do not chase after things. If it's not, if it doesn't open, leave it alone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below how you, what you thought about this video. And I'll be making more content soon. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace out.